Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another video. We back for another video. Um, hopefully, the quality on this video is better than last uh, video from yesterday, or uh, well, from whatever day from today I'm posting this. Anyway, um, the last video I made, uh, it was kind of dim a little bit. I think I guess more lighting, but I fooled around with the settings and stuff, and so I think it looked a little better. But you guys, let me know if it is, if it's not, and I see what I can do. But anyway, we got NBA Legends on how insanely good Moses Malone was. Now, I almost forgot about him. Now, he was a real, real, real good player back in the day. Not real good, but real great. He was a great player back in the day. So, you think he's better than Shaq? I was Shaq better than him. Was he better than Kareem? Uh, no, he wasn't. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I'll let you get right to the video, man. I'm doing too much talking. I noticed I've been talking a whole lot about videos when I start off, but um, I gotta stop doing it. So, yeah. Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. What a I'm show. your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to feature Moses Malone. In my opinion, one of the most underrated players in NBA history. Yep. And I want to take a look at what NBA legends have to say about the great <laughs> Moses. But before we dive into that, I want to ask you guys for a small favor. If you're new to the show, please subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you like subscribe, the Sean. All right, enough said. Now let's dive into today. Let's get right to it, man. Get now right the first it. clip that I want to show you guys is from the MB80 series. Now let's have a look. Philly was already loaded when it added Moses Malone to the mix. Oh, man, I love Moses. Moses is single in in my NBA career. That was it. You know, we got to the doorstep and couldn't get in. And we got Moses. Malone with the offensive rebound. Is Malone strong or what? Man, he was a beast on the rebound. I feel like it's strong I get. And I get more aggressive than I know what I got I get to do. I always love him because he always mm -hmm. It was mumbles. He was the only player who would get 30 rebounds and 30 points. And they couldn't interview him. They just, he was like, how you feel? Mm -hmm, yeah. When he started talking to you, you'd go, huh? <laughs> he loved his scrum. So when he started scrumming oh. with Moses, like he would win that because he'd be like grabbing your arms and you couldn't move and stuff. I just thought he overpowered him. Maybe that's not a good word. Maybe I should have said punishing. <laughs> I don't know. What the hell is a different thing? <laughs> I think the Lord gave me this, this talent to be the best. Uh, that's why I think I would name Moses. Moses Malone. That's not even. Sound like he had a he got a lisp when he talked. Okay, they didn't make it. Had nothing to do with the video. I'm just saying. Name. That's his real name. Imagine you're six ten. Your name is Moses, and you can't play ball. That's a lot to live with. What was it? What is? And wait, Little Mo, the doctor, Kevin Maloney, what was what? that? Little Mo, Big Mo, <laughs> Big the Mo. doctor, Andrew Tony, and Ivoroni. No baloney. Six is all the way. <laughs> what? I remember that. They said Moses took us to the promised land. Like, you couldn't beat them. The two-time MVP on the oh. And also okay, one of for the most this. unique guarantees in all of sports. Four, four, four. Uh, <laughs> four, four, four. What? <laughs> I said four, four, four. So it's four, four, and five, or something, something to that point. Four, four, four. Yeah. With the talent that we had, I think we had an opportunity to do it. Hey. It was so, so great because he's a kiss me the Moses and, and, and Doc needed help and they just swept through. There it goes, Cheeks on his way to the world championship. The Moses. Hey. Congratulate the world champion, Philadelphia 76ers. 444 four, four became, you know, 454 four, four, and, uh, and history was made. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. Straight, though. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 That's the best. They needed to get somebody with Julie. So he needed a little bit of help. This is the man. And he was on a mission. We need one guy who's going to be there for 38, 40 minutes a night. And they got the right man at the right time. The Turn around. The name of Moses Malone. One of my favorite Hello, NBA brother. journalists is Chris Bussard, simply because he covers a lot of NBA old school basketball. And on his show, he has a section or had a section called You Kids Just Don't Know How Good a Certain Player Was. And he had Moses Malone as a topic once. Now let's have a he look. He swept Magic, Kareem, and the Showtime Lakers in the NBA Finals. Damn. He's got more MVPs than Shaq and Kobe. Combined, 
He was a champion, a Hall of Famer, and a trailblazer. I'm telling you, you kids just don't know just don't how know. good Moses Malone was. And the following clips are many of Moses Malone's players. Was he, a, was he upset? Guys who played against Moses in his prime. Now let's have a look. Moses was relentless. I mean, he he just never stopped. He went after everything. I tell you, it's like being on a railroad track and a locomotive is coming at you, and there's no way you can stop it. No, you know stuff most of long. Skilled player. Uh, he was the my name Moses. Willing uh, to throw up the nah. worst kind of shot ever, knowing though that he could land and count. So very much like a cat. I think the Lord gave me this talent to be the best. So that's why I think I was named Moses. In 1974, <laughs> Maybe. he became one of the first players to go directly from high school to the pro. Oh, forget about that. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Utah Stars. I was at his press conference Straight from high school. in New York City when he, when he became a high school player, declaring he was skinny. And I mean really skinny. A guy you'd look at and you'd say, you know, no way, it's not going to happen. When we signed him, I knew that he had great talent. I had no idea that he would be doing the things that he's doing right now. And he is one of the quickest the I've ever him. seen. He could be maybe hey. the best offensive oh, rebounder been, in the history of the game. He it. Well, he's very good at it now, and I'm sure... In a year or two, when he's old enough to shave, he'll be excellent. <laughs> After two years in the ABA, Malone moved to the Houston Rockets of the NBA in 1976. And at the age of just 21, he quickly showed he would become a force in the league. I forgot to play with the Rockets. You didn't absolutely face guard him. There was no chance. If you turned your head, you were going to lose sight of him, and he was going to get the offensive rebound. Every time. He became a dominant uh, force in the middle where you couldn't do anything with him. You Nothing see, at he all. became a man because he became physical and tough. Oh, oh, uh, oh, has oh, a mean oh. streak. Malone's fierce playing style masked an inner shyness. His introverted demeanor you made him do that nowadays. You get a tick. You put out the game. many as being distant. Moses was the kind of guy, you know, from, from a writer's standpoint, very, very difficult to get close to. Didn't speak that well. There were guys I remember that used to mock him. When you come in and you're a shy kid, and then you get bombarded by the media every day, I mean, you can turn inward and say, you know, I'm the promised land, the promised land. Okay, so they actually made a song saying that. That's, that's kind of funny. The promised land, the promised land. <laughs> you just see the changes. It is kind of funny. In the whole piece. They understood, they knew this is the man. And he was on a mission. And he came. He had come to Philadelphia to get away. So I think he got a championship that following year. Oh, hey! Give me that. Is Malone strong or what? Yeah, he, yeah, he is strong. Yeah. Strong I get, and I get more aggressive than I know what I got to do. When they push you, the stronger you get. Oh yeah, I love pushing. He said, "I love pushing." He just came out, and you know, it just made for great chemistry. We had great chemistry on that team. Give it in. Blocked by Malone. Here comes the fast breaking Sixers. Up they come, Cheeks. Here's Irving. I, oh. <laughs> and one. Uh, team feeling that whoever we stepped on the court with, we had an advantage in the second He came in with such a passion. He came in Bill with Walton. A, a level of pride that few players were ever able to match. Good Malone. Finally, this will be the fifth pass. And he's averaging. Almost 16 rebounds a game. Now, he's the best rebound. offensive rebounder I've ever seen. Watch the speed. Good of all good. time, probably. Hey! Oh, Moses Malone on the follow. He's too far under and really hit the Didn't bottom get of the rebound like oh, two, three, four times up. in a row, then put it up. We got Moses. He always Give talked about um, going to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It was one of his phrases, time to go to work. And it comes from a, a guy like me that loves to win. You know, I like to win. I don't like to lose. I think when you work hard, you know, you, you get a much better feel. See if they Duke. take advantage of that matchup. Malone. Hey, what? Go. Oh. Fake both of them. Hey. Fill up here now. You won't get many second or third chances if you oh. So how good was Moses Malone in my opinion? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to me Moses Malone is one of the most underrated players of all time, one of the greatest bigs of all time, one of the greatest rebounders oh. of all time, and again, hey. one of the players that I really love. So that was it for today's episode, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.
Oh man. Shout out to uh basketball time machine, um, Sean David. That was a good video. Um yeah, Moses Malone was like one of the most, if not still one of the most underrated big men, most underrated uh, old school players of all time. Uh my battery about to die, so I'm gonna hurry finish this video out so I can uh, swap batteries. And um hope you guys enjoyed the video. So next time the boy can't move, I'm out.